Hello again, I am Blunty, and inside this tin with the label that says Pinwide on it is a product called the Pinwide. It's freaking amazing what clever bastards packaging designers can be, isn't it? Anywho, the Pinwide is a body cap style lens for micro four thirds cameras. Only it really isn't a lens at all, it's just a teeny tiny hole. And the reason this not a lens lens has a teeny tiny hole and not a lens is because it's designed to replicate a pinhole camera. And if you don't know what a pinhole camera is, throw the word into a web search and be fascinated by a bit of camera history. You just might learn something. A lot of photographers who like a bit of experimenting will sometimes make their own pinhole lens by poking a tiny hole in a standard body cap. It's very easy and it works just fine. But the clever thing about the pin white is it's designed to recess right in into the camera body so it's right in front of the sensor and this gives you a significantly wider field of view which more accurately replicates the aesthetics of a true old school pinhole camera. It's also machined to a much higher accuracy than any homemade job can accomplish with an ultra high precision etched metal aperture mounted to the main body. And unlike shooting with a proper old school pinhole camera, with the pin wide you keep all the benefits of digital photography, that instant feedback so you can get your framing how you want it and make adjustments to your settings to get your exposure just how you want it. With old pinhole cameras it's a bit of a crapshoot, you have to be really experienced to get anything decent from them. A lot of experimentation has to take place and it's long because you have to do the developing and everything, but here your experimentation cycle is much much faster. It makes it more enjoyable frankly. So you get all the quirky and authentic aesthetics of a proper pinhole camera with all the convenience and control of a digital camera. As you can see you've got pretty much infinite focus thanks to the tiny pinhole aperture and things look a bit soft and surprisingly film like. But you've got to ask, with all the excellent lenses on offer out there, and with apps and filters that are designed to replicate old school film looks with a single click of a button, why the hell would you want to shoot with something like this? Well, number one, it's because it's not a filter or a cheesy bit of software effect trying to emulate a look. It's not faked, it's the real deal, an authentic, real world, tactile thing. And number two, which by the way is why I use it, because I hold no pretentious snobbery about using software filters, any artist in any medium will tell you setting limits can and will boost your creativity. When you use the pin wide you're stuck with the wide angle, the low sharpness, the often grainy images and the longer exposure you get just by the nature of the thing and the tiny amounts of light it lets in. And dealing with all these limitations makes you think about your shots in new ways or more accurately the old ways. It makes you pay attention to camera settings you'd often leave up to the camera's CPU control because with the pin wide the camera's own exposure metering simply won't be accurate. And without tack sharp focus and without creamy buttery bouquet and shallow depth of field you can't hide unsightly crap in an out of focus background. You really have to think hard about your compositions. Working within limits like these will make you a better photographer. Or at the very least give your creativity a bit of a kick up the bum when you're feeling in a bit of a rut. And besides all that. It's simply fun to try new things, it's fun to shoot with this thing, to break out of old habits and old muscle memory autopilot shooting that you can sometimes get stuck in. Suddenly you're out and about with your camera and you aren't focusing on snapping off gallery ready print potential. It's about grabbing a big goddamn axe and cutting to the core of photography right through its ribcage. You can shoot video with it too, though frankly I think stills work better here. Somehow in motion the aesthetic loses much of its charm for me. I can't really explain why, maybe you like it but I don't. I like the stills better, and I much prefer shooting in black and white with it too. So if you're a snapper looking for something new, or once again more accurately something old to experiment with, or given that the holiday season is rapidly rushing up upon us like a raging bull, if you're looking for an unusual and inspiring gift for the photographer in your life, take a look at the Pinwide. It's fun, it's quirky, it's stimulating, and it won't kick your wallet in the teeth like a new lens with proper glass in it will. If you want to grab one, hit up their website at wonderlustcameras.com or search on Amazon or something like that where you should find it for under 40 squids. Thanks for watching, I am Blunty, and I'll catch you next time.